Well, here we are then. It's the 20p challenge for Retrotech once again, uh, where you can have as many practice goes as you want, but as soon as you press record, that is your go. Uh, just you and two credits. Credits don't mean a lot in this one. <laughs> well, they do. You can continue, but... Um, yeah, it's a puzzle game, as you can see. It's Puznik, or, or Puzuniku, as it's known in Japan, which had some dirty versions um, across the world. We're playing the non-dirty version, um, so if you're watching this video about a puzzle game um, to um, pleasure yourself to, um, weird shout, well done. Um, try and expand it, but you're not going to see any boobies here. Um, there are the sites for that kind of thing. Um, so yes, it's a Taito game, um, and um, I'm a bit too smooth-brained for it. Although I did work this out, I had a practice go, and worked out that you could get like school multipliers, so that was quite good. Um, but yes, very smooth-brained, so I don't get very far. Um, it was a Taito game that came out in 1989, uh, converted to a lot of things actually: the Amiga, the Amstrad, the Atari ST, the Commodore 64, the Game Boy, the PC 98. Me neither. Uh, NES, PC Engine. Uh, Spectrum FM Towns with the Rubits intact, PlayStation and the X6800. Um, it's ranked as Amiga Power's 34th best game, um, which was an ocean conversion. Um, I believe, uh, I don't know if I'm, I'm not absolutely certain this, but did the ocean game, I think on the Spectrum, did it have like a weird potato thing in the game? Because there's no, it's not present here, or am I getting you confused with something else? If you know what the game I'm talking about, the puzzle game with a little, it's sort of a little round thing with two little eyes, let me know. Um, yeah, um, so as I say, I don't get very far in this. Uh, it's one of those games where you have to get it right. Um, you can retry it, but you keep the same time, which I think is a bit crap. Um, and if you, basically there's no lives or you can retry but you keep the same time so if you've only got 10 seconds left you can retry but like if you fail that you lose your continue which i think is really bad actually i think it should be that you know the the time is reset because it's a puzzle game we have to get it right and i i don't know not a fan of it not a fan of it it's 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 all right um but it um it's very unforgiving it's not like tetris where you can sort of wangle your way out of it which is more of a reactive thing this is for the super smart kids who can see things in advance um but it is what it is so um as i don't last too long i think we should talk about uh our gentle facts and it's a subject i've covered before but i'm going to talk about something more specific so dolphins which i think i covered last back in like 2021 or something like that um and they're, they're a filthy bloody animal but i thought i'd go over them because they're intelligent aren't they they're the second most intelligent creatures after the great apes so yes so i'm going to talk about a very specific dolphin um and it's one called georges now georges um he was he's a local lad um as he was um well to this country uh england uh, as he was a 400 pound bottle nose dolphin who was causing a bit of a stir in Weymouth of all places in 2002 um, and the reason he caused a bit of stir was because he became very obsessed in an unhealthy manner towards humans uh, he started to become very sexually aggressive to them now there are stories I'm thinking the previous story um, um, dolphin genital facts I talked about there was actually a scenario where there was a lady who actually wasn't not up for it with the dolphin and she got the sack from the marine place. Um, but this is uh, totally non-consensual, um, um, which was um, basically he became very sexually aggressive towards uh, swimmers and divers, particularly female ones, circling around an individual, basically trying to get them separate and coaxed away from boats the beaches and other people uh he's sort of like a sexy jaws in a way um so george is really he posed a real threat to summer visitors to weymouth because this was the sort of time he was there and um obviously uh, the experts including um one of the guys who trained flipper <laughs> um decided that uh 
We need to stop that because he could call people to drown. Also, they get bummed by a dolphin. That would be cool. Um, so Georges was encouraged away from the area and no one was harmed. So a, a very happy ending, not for Georges, to that story. Um, and this is the bit I die on. Um, I'm sure that... And I, I, I looked at it and I can't really work out how to do it. Uh, there is a way that involves that middle platform. I think you can block it as well. Um, but, um, yeah... If I saw this in the arcade, I would have gone nowhere near it. It doesn't have violence in it. <laughs> um, puzzle games I do like, um, but I like the reactive ones like Pipe Mania, Tetris, Rampart, that kind of thing. Um, things where you actually have to use your brain. Uh, I've not got the brain for that. As I said, very smooth brain, lick windows, that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, so what have we got coming up on the channel? Uh, well, this week we have got Droopy Tennis. Um, on the Game Boy Advance because it's Wimbledon of course um, so yeah watch that if you like um, seeing uh, sad depressed Harry Redknapp-esque cartoon dogs um, batting a little yellow ball around yeah um, so yeah there's that and um, that's something to look forward to have a look um, at the other videos that everyone else is doing uh, you always I always say that I know um, but also please um, have a go like you can show that you're much smarter than me um, who is not smart at all um, I'm just lucky at times in these games <laughs> I swear to it I swear to it I'm the, I'm the Gareth Southgate of, um, of puzzle games uh, who at the time of recording has uh, just wangled his way into a semi-final and um, by the time the next challenge is up it will be the final and I don't know if England will be in it I know they're not going to win it because Spain are much better um, <laughs> um, but um, yes so uh, that's that isn't it um, but yeah it'd be really nice to see some other faces take part in these challenges um, and you don't just as if you're new to this you don't have to talk about animals um, sexually assaulting humans that's just a thing that I do um, because I run out of things to talk about to do with the game um, but you can come up with your own shtick if you like <laughs> you can you can talk about I don't know serious things like uh, mollusks or geography or I don't know lemon curd you could give us your favourite lemon meringue recipes am I straining for stuff now I probably am um, but yeah but anyway that's all good isn't it um, and uh, yeah it's it's a game that I won't go back to let's just put it like that and uh, now I don't have to go back to it because my turn is over um, and I get to put my name in and I get to retire from um, the Puznik Championship and watch everyone else get much further. Uh, yeah, so anyway, yeah, like, um, I think you should uh, yeah, like, subscribe, right? And then uh, K thanks bye to you because I'm off. <laughs>